Okay. So what path or religion are you mm -hmm. in your pursuit of perfection with God? <laughs> what, 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 what are um, you? I was raised Seventh-day Adventist. Okay. And what um, does that mean? Seventh-day Adventist is a Christian denomination. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we believe is observing the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, so from a young child, you know, being brought up, I was always brought up with Sabbath observance. So Friday night sundown, or Saturday night sundown, as mentioned in the Ten Commandments, remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Uh, and then also Jesus uh, observed Sabbath as well. Yeah. So it's one day where I don't check my emails. I don't respond to work calls. I don't read from Friday night, Friday night, sundown, sundown to Saturday seven. night, sundown. Yeah. No work. You don't check your emails. No. That's, that's, like a, there's a that's, a, that's like against the commandment of Hollywood <laughs> that thou shalt carry thy Blackberry at all times. But you know what? Here's a good yes. thing. When you set boundaries. Yeah. 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 Oh, up front. Up front. Here's what my commitment is. So we all agree. I Before love this, Before we even Devon. take the job or go yeah. down the road. Yeah. Here's a commitment. Yeah. Are we all agreeing this is okay? Mm -hmm. So then all I have to do is just make sure I keep the commitment. Yeah. Because the moment I break it. Yes. Is the moment they realize, oh, well, he wasn't that serious. Mm hmm but for me, Sabbath is a time to recharge. It's a time to rest. It's a time to spend time with my family. Uh, it's a time to spiritually reconnect. Yeah. Um, it's incredible. What is interesting is that you allow your faith, yeah. your belief in God to be at the forefront of who you are yeah. in a place where most of us, and you even say in the book, I remember when I said to my father, um, I was like 13, 14, that I, I'm going to be an actress. No daughter of mine is going to be going out to Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, boy. Sodom and Gomorrah. You know the line. Sodom yes. and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, right. So you're living in what a lot of certainly traditional Christian people see yeah. Hollywood as the land of everything but following the path of, of your faith. How, how, how do you make it out there? <laughs> well, you make it by being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. And like my literally for your, for your first job. I mean, I'm sorry yeah, to interrupt. Okay, for your first job. Uh, working as an intern with yes. Will Smith, yes. you say to them, yeah. look, I have to have the Sabbath yes. off, yes. which may I just say, confess that I learned in my first meeting with Devon, all these years I thought the Sabbath was Sunday. Yeah. I've been going to church. We say worship on the Sabbath, wor worship on the Sabbath in the Baptist church. And you corrected me. You said, no, Sunday is the first day of the week. Yeah. Sabbath is Friday sundown to Saturday Sunday. That's right. That's I right. I stand corrected. God appointed a worship day for the people who believe in Him. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. People of God should keep the Sabbath day which God appointed as a service day. God created the heavens and the earth for six days and rested on the seventh day Sabbath. The Sabbath day the memorial of the creative power of God is the seventh day. Then, what day is the seventh day? Sunday, the first day of the week. Saturday, the seventh day of the week. Dictionaries record the seventh day is Saturday. When we see a calendar, the seventh day, Sabbath, is Saturday. The Bible says Jesus resurrected on the first day of the week. For the same verse, the Good News Bible says Jesus resurrected on Sunday. The first day of the week is Sunday. Then what day is the Sabbath? The Sabbath is Saturday. 
Catholic books also testify that the Sabbath day is Saturday. The scriptures enforce the religious observance of Saturday, a day which we never sanctify. The word Sabbath means rest, and is Saturday, the seventh day of the week. Jesus, too, worshipped on the Sabbath. Jesus, on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. After Jesus ascended, Apostle Paul also worshipped on the Sabbath day. As his custom was, Paul went into the synagogue, and on three Sabbath days he reasoned with them from the Scriptures. He who belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Just as Jesus and the disciples kept the Sabbath day, God's people should keep the Sabbath day which God appointed. Yes. Which, may I just confess that I learned in my first meeting with Devon, all these years I thought the Sabbath was Sunday. Yeah. I've been going to church. We say worship on the Sabbath, worship on the Sabbath in the Baptist church. And you corrected me. You said, no, Sunday is the first day of the week. Yeah. Sabbath is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's right. That's I right. stand corrected. <laughs> God created rest, in my opinion, in his wisdom, knowing our human nature, that we needed a day to rest physically, and it's a spiritual day where we can kind of recharge our batteries and uh, continue on. Without that day of rest, life would be challenging. In conclusion, we now know that the seventh day is God's Sabbath, and the commandment to keep it is in the royal law, the Ten Commandments. The seventh day Sabbath begins Friday at sundown and ends Saturday at sundown. Remember, keep the Sabbath day holy. Many people think God's holy day is a different day, or that God doesn't even have a special day. But the Bible is clear. The seventh day, Saturday, is the Sabbath of the Lord our God. God has given us a blessing each week and a commandment to keep it. Friend, would you like to start keeping the Sabbath? You can start this Saturday. Why not make it a special time between you and the Lord? God bless you. And Jesus said, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free.